Hey guys, it's Rendon Ricks here with TJ Free. In this video, I want to show you how to quickly download and install the Olive Video Editor on Windows 10. Let's get started. I'll include the download link in the description of this video, but you can also just go to a search engine like DuckDuckGo and just search Olive Video Editor. And that should bring up uh, the site. So it's actually olivevideoeditor.org is the site you'll want to go to. And we'll just left click on this top link here. This is the download site. Uh, so there's all kinds of information about the video editor. Um, and if you're not familiar with it, you can do some reading and, and check it out. It's a free video editor. It's open source software. If you're not familiar with that, check out some of my other videos where I talk about uh, open source software and the advantages to using open source software above something like Adobe or a proprietary video editor. But to download, we'll just click here on these downloads, uh, this download link. And then we're, I'm going to show you how to download this on Windows. There's also uh, potential to download on Mac and Linux as well. But click on Windows. If you have a, a, a much older computer or a, an underpowered computer, you might want to try this 32-bit installer. But I'm going to do the installer 64-bit. These options for portable are just if you don't want to install it on the computer. Maybe you're using this at like a, a library or a computer that's not your own. In that case, you might want to do the portable. Sometimes you'll, you'll do a portable. You can put it on like a jump drive like this. And then that way you can just run it off of the jump drive without having to install it to the computer. So that might be an option for you. I'm going to click on this installer 64 bit. We just left click and then it's uh, automatically going to start our download. So this dialog pops up. I'm going to click save file and then we'll just wait for it to download. I'm using Firefox uh, right now. So these instructions will be similar if you're using Chrome or if you're using um, Internet Explorer or a different browser. But on Firefox, my downloads that are happening appear in the top right corner here, so I can click and watch the progress of this download. And I don't have incredibly fast internet, and so this is taking, it takes about 45 seconds or so to, for this to download. Uh, so it may be faster or slower on your internet connection. And this is a .exe file that's being downloaded, so it's a Windows executable file. Uh, we'll give it just a second here. And also, I have my downloads configured to go right to my downloads folder. So if I go to the, the file explorer, you can just click on the start button and type in, start typing in explorer to get to the file explorer, and then click on downloads. It'll probably show up here. And so you can just launch it directly from here by left clicking or double clicking if you have double click set up, or we can just click it from right here in the downloads once it's finished, which it is now. So I'll left click here. It brings up a dialog that says, do you trust this program? I'm going to click yes. And then we click uh, just next here to install. We have a license agreement that you're welcome to read through. I'm going to click I agree. And then we choose the, the location to install. If you have multiple hard drives on your computer, you might want to click browse and choose a, a different location to install it to on your computer. But I'm just going to leave it this default. Uh, program files is an excellent place to install programs on Windows. Uh, and then we'll just click next. I'll leave all these things checked. We'll click install. And then this begins installing. So what this, do, this is doing is installing all of the dependencies. There's other programs that Olive Video Editor uses, just like any software, in order to work properly. So it's installing all of those and getting it all configured to run on this computer without having to go to the website and download it every time. Uh, and then if this box is checked, run Olive, uh, it'll, it'll launch Olive as soon as we click finish. So I'll just click finish here. And this will launch the Olive Video Editor. And so let's minimize this. Maybe it launched it in the background. Yeah, here it is. So it's launched in the background here. So the first time it comes up with this message, I'm going to click OK. And here we go. This is the interface for Olive. So check out the next video in this series, and I'll show you uh, kind of what's going on here. We'll get familiar with the interface, and then we'll dive right into learning how to use Olive Video Editor to do professional video editing. Thanks for watching, guys.